In today's show, we learn more about one of our counselors. Trey Duffy is signing. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Vikes, I'm Morgan. And I'm Aaron. Here's your daily news. There is a mandatory driver's ed meeting on Wednesday, May 8th during seminar. The meeting will be in the auditorium at 1015. The Writing Center application deadline has been extended to May 15th at the end of the day. The last week to schedule Writing Center appointments is May 13th through 17th. Appointments need to be scheduled during seminar. There is a parent meeting Monday, May 6th at 6 in the library for the Washington DC trip with Close Up. Here's Emery with more information. Hi Bikes, I'm here with Mrs. Yoder and she's going to talk to us about Close Up. So what is Close Up? Uh, Close Up is a nonprofit organization and it's a week-long trip in Washington DC. You get to do behind the scenes activities, um, do a lot of civic engagement activities as well. You get to see the Capitol, um, the White House, just anything you can imagine in DC you're going to get to do and it's great. Kids love it. Uh, when is the parent meeting? The parent meeting is Monday, May 6th at 6 o'clock in the library. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, it's super fun. We need seven kids to be able to go. So if you are at all interested, contact myself or Mr. Cromie. Because um, like I said, we need seven people to go on this trip. And we've been going on it for the past like 25 years, I think. So we want to keep that up. All right. Thanks, Mrs. Yoder. Now back to your anchors. Contact Mrs. Yoder or Mr. Cromie for more information. Attention all juniors. The Alumni Association is asking students to make a t-shirt design and raise money for scholarships. For more information, contact Mr. LaDuke. Attention all seniors. If you have not filled out your senior activity sheet for your book, please do so today. You can find the link in your 2019 class page on Schoology. We'll be back to see who recently signed with a college after this quick commercial break. Hi, my name is Cooper Smith and I'm attending Kansas State University next year. We will be filming senior thank yous during your government classes. If you haven't already filmed yours, come to our seminar in the studio during these dates. Make sure you get yours filmed. And I want to thank my mom, dad, friends and family for supporting me and go cats. Coach Tuck and former Coach Garmin are putting on a summer swim camp for 7th through 12th graders. Check Schoology for more information. Senior night is tonight for the Lady Vikes soccer team. As they take on Topeka High, JV will play at 4.30 and varsity will start at 6.15. Good luck, Vikes. Also, baseball is in action tonight at home against Washington Rule. JV starts at 4 and varsity starts at 6. Recently, Trey Duffy signed to play basketball with Kansas Westland. Let's learn more everybody for coming and Trey has gosh he's looked forward for, to this day for so long. This school was different from every other school that offered me because the community, I really like the community there. I like the culture that Coach Munson's building. You know, basketball is going to be a, a big part of my life because it's paying for my college. And so you want to be part of a program that you're going to look forward to going to every single day and working really hard with. And I know by going to KWU and working with Coach Munson and his staff, I'm going to look forward to that every single day. We saw Trey uh, when he played for SSA over the summer, his junior year, and then uh, Saw him again at the state tournament uh, when Seaman made it um, in Topeka here, and so just really liked you know his game and the things he was doing, and uh, you know obviously how hard he works. Everybody talks about that, and uh, you know it was one of those things where we just kind of followed him throughout the year, and uh, really started jumping on him towards the end of the year about you know coming to Kansas Wesleyan, and it worked out for us. This is our first job going through the recruiting process, so it was pretty interesting. He had multiple offers. Trey had one offer early on before the season started and, and then he had multiple people watching throughout the year. Um, so we had basically three colleges recruiting pretty heavily and watching him during the season. 
at the end of the day, it came down to, out of the three colleges that Trey were looking at, it came down to really the coaches and where Trey felt most comfortable. I just want to thank everybody for coming. It really means a lot to me. Um, every one of you that is here has played a key part in my life, whether I'm a student or an athlete. I want to thank all my friends, my teachers, my coaches, every one of you. It means a lot for me to be here. And I just can't wait to start my new future in Salina. If you see Trey, be sure to congratulate him. That's all for sports. Now let's head it over to Josh to see how nice it's going to be this weekend. All right, good afternoon to you. We have some active weather on the way for next week. Let's take a look today. Pretty cool with highs around 60 degrees, but a beautiful weekend is in store. Get out and enjoy the weather before storms roll in for much of next week. It's looking like a fairly active pattern once we get to Monday. So for the next 24 hours or so, we're bottoming out in the mid to upper 40s tomorrow morning. So it is going to be a chilly start, but temperatures should start to rebound fairly quickly already up into the low to mid 60s by lunchtime for your Saturday and then storms roll in. Check this out. A large area of storms are possible in the next week. Some of this rain could be heavy at times, so just get ready for scattered thunderstorms as we go into the upcoming school week. So you can take a look again. W cool conditions today get warmer Saturday, Sunday and Monday with highs in the upper 70s. Then storms are possible Monday through Wednesday. Aaron and Morgan, back to you. Every student is assigned a counselor, but how well do you know your counselors? Let's go learn more about Mr. Alexander. I became a counselor. I'd been teaching um, business here for 11 years. I was uh, taught like um, Oh, back in those days, we had a class called keyboarding, and then it turned into computer tech class. Um, taught that, taught accounting, taught some record keeping, those kind of things. Um, always had a pretty good rapport with students, it seemed like, and students would come talk to me um, about things that were going on in their life and stuff like that. Um, really, as a counselor, you're putting out fires, different fires erupt with kids, between kids and stuff, and so you have to step in to try to put out the fire. So then Mrs. Sittenauer, which were really good friends outside of school, she got me this um, fire he helmet that hangs over my desk. You have to make them feel like that this is a safe place to come and talk and know that I'm not, oh, minute they walk out the door, I'm not going around blabbing their whatever they talk to me about to everybody else. You know, the big draw to get kids into my office is of course the Jolly Ranchers and, um, and uh, um, Life Savers. So food is a good way to get students to, you know, because if they come in and get a Jolly Rancher, then I can talk to them and kind of get to know them a little bit. Then maybe when something's going on that they need somebody to be in their corner or talk to, then they'll be more likely to come in the door, so. Wow, I never knew that much about Mr. Alexander. Me neither. Make sure you go say hi and take a couple Jolly Ranchers. Next week, we will have more information about the SEMA game at Kauffman Stadium. And we'll find out who at Seaman High School has perfected their canine craft. Have a great rest of your day.